Hello friends, Easter is upon us. So today I wanna to talk to you about Easter in Alaska, what we do for our family, and we're gonna do some Easter shopping and make some Easter baskets. Let's get going. First and foremost, Easter for us is about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So we celebrate Easter, we talk a lot about it as we lead up to Easter and we go to church on Easter Sunday as a family. But we also do the Easter eggs and Easter baskets because those are just fun ways to connect as a family. So we will do an Easter egg hunt and yes, it will be in the snow. The snow will not be gone by Easter. So we will be doing Easter egg hunts in the snow like we have the past 13 years since we've had children. We usually go to church, have family over, decorate eggs, and then we do an Easter egg hunt in the afternoon. The kids like to get Easter baskets in the morning and they like them hidden. I, my mom used to hide my Easter basket and I had to go find it. And we've continued on that tradition with the kids. So we will hide their Easter baskets and they like to go find them. As the years have gone by, I decorate less and less for holidays. I am heading out to the shed to see what I have in the Easter box by way of decorations, egg decorating kits. Before I go shopping, I wanna know what I have. Valentine's Day, fall, Halloween. The Easter supplies must have ended up in the basement instead of the shed. Ooh, let's get back inside, see if I can find them. It's currently 34 degrees out here, but it feels chilly, probably just because I don't have on a big jacket, but whew, chillier than I was expecting. Very overcast. We got about an inch of snow yesterday. We're not to spring yet. success in the basement. This is why I needed to see what I had before I went shopping. Apparently last year I was really on top of it and bought a bunch of eggs on clearance. Go me. Oh, Luna thinks that this is a treat. She just jumped up because of course the inspector has to come inspect the Easter stuff. Hello Luna. Anytime she hears a crinkle, she thinks it's a snack for her. I also pulled my magnolia wreath out of the basement because it's probably time to take the Christmas wreath off the door. Probably March is a good time to do that. And we have some decorations. We have some cute fake eggs. We have some cutting boards from Target. Here's a bunch more eggs. Well, don't you look cute in that magnolia wreath? These we got last year. I'll link these on Amazon because they are the most amazing things ever. I'm gonna show you the concept with a fake egg really quick, but then I'll have the boys show us later. You turn it on and the egg spins and then you just take a marker and you decorate the egg. I think I found these at Sam's Club when I was in Arizona last year. Game changers for decorating. Uh, they came in a pack of two. I know they're on Amazon. I will link them. Love, 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 love these. Just a fun, reusable tablecloth for when we decorate eggs. Ooh, oh, I, I bought these last year when I was in Arizona. I forgot. Some fun garlands. A basket. Here are the markers that go with the egg amazing things. Some cute decor. Just a few decor pieces. Ooh, these are fun. Bought these on clearance last year. Some fun sprinkles. We'll have to make my favorite sugar cookies and let the kids decorate them. I will put the link to the sugar cookie recipe that I love, tried and true. Everybody loves them down in the description below. Oh, how cute are these? I found some good clearance items last year, apparently. And we have a little happy Easter sign. They go on these little trays here. Got some egg dyeing supplies. Just kind of keep all the extras from every year. So if the kids want to decorate eggs, got another little fun sign. Some cute little paper plates. Some placemats. I'm 
gonna stick everything back in here. Decorating can wait. We will do that a little bit later in this video. Right now I got some shopping to do, but now I know what things I don't need. Fake it till you make it. There's our first spring decor. All right, friends, it's time to do some shopping. I'm hoping to hit up Walmart, Target, and the local shop that I love to shop at. It's open this weekend. It's only open two weekends a month, and this is one of those weekends. So we can go get in the Easter spirit and then go do some Easter shopping. Revive Home Market is an Alaska owned store. It is a mixture of antiques as well as 50 vendors that bring their goods in Alaska made goods to sell in the shop and it is magical. They do such an amazing job decorating it for each season. Right now it is decorated for spring and Easter even though it's not spring outside. It's so comforting to come in here. It's just an experience. So let me show you a couple things that I am drawn to for the Easter and spring season. I adore this little mushroom cup. I really just love this whole mushroom section. Grow through what you go through. Love that bit of advice. And then they have some beautiful Easter He Is Risen artwork that is just beautiful and simple. I love all these spring touches. The cute little carrots and bunnies everywhere it just is so so fun everything is so unique and just has that homemade touch to it that is just so beautiful because a lot of the vendors are from alaska this is a great place to come if you want some alaska decor alaska cards alaskan gifts and it's all tucked in some amazing antiques that they've collected from around the United States. So if you're into antiques, it's also a great place to find some one-of-a-kind pieces. And it's my favorite place to go shopping for gifts and giveaways and things because there's just so many fun things that you can look at. And I, it's just, if you've been here for a while, you know this is just one of my favorite places to shop and to browse. There's just so many things to look at and it changes up all the time. How cute are these gnomes? Oh my goodness, bunny gnomes for Easter. My friend Andrea makes these and they are just adorable with their cute little tail. So cute. I can hardly stand this little bunny in glasses and these beaded earrings are always so fun to look at. These are little bath bombs in the shape of bunnies. That would be a great thing to put in an Easter basket. So cute. This store just makes my soul happy. And then next up we have the fireweed section. Fireweed is a very popular flower in the late summer, early fall in Alaska. It is actually what I think should be the state flower. The forget-me-not is our actual state flower, but when I think of Alaska, I think of fireweed. Last but not least, these are my favorite earrings. I'm wearing some in this video. I wear them all the time. They are by Akimbo. She does have a website if you ever want to look into them. They're handmade and they are beautiful. I highly recommend them. Isn't that store just wonderful? I just love going in there. It just makes you feel peaceful and calm. Now let's head to Walmart. Not as peaceful and calm, but we do need some stuff there. Here's the glacier in the Walmart parking lot. Still has a lot more snow to melt. <laughs> First up, I am a sucker for Alaska grown carrots. They just taste better, so I grabbed a bag of those. I've been making these smoothies and this white grape peach juice is really good with them. These are for the Easter baskets. This is something we don't ever buy, so it's kind of fun treat for Easter. 
And then I'm also grabbing some Pringles because I don't ever think to buy Pringles and it's a fun treat for the boys for Easter. Years ago when we got our septic system pumped, the guy told us to only use Walmart toilet paper because it breaks down the best. So I stock up anytime I come here because we go through a lot of toilet paper between us and our Airbnb. We gotta keep that septic system working okay. And these are what my kids call grandpa drinks because my dad always used to have one of these, a peach flavor in his refrigerator at all times. Um, they didn't have any peach flavor, but I grabbed one for each of the boys. With all that toilet paper, this cart is filling up really fast. One of the things on my list is some pants for my oldest son. So when I saw these ones on clearance, I decided to grab a couple pairs for him to try on. And then I decided to look at these vests. I've actually been wanting a vest and I thought these were pretty cute and they were on clearance. Next up was a belt for Hunter. I think he left his in Arizona at Christmas because we have not been able to find it and he needs a belt. So try and remember which size he needed. Hopefully this is the right one. And then they always need new white shirts because white shirts and boys never last very long. And he also needed some church shoes. So I found these black ones. We'll see if he likes them. They just look gigantic. My kids are growing so fast. And then of course I had to look at their cute summer shoes. I think Walmart always has really cute summer shoes. They do a lot of knockoffs of really expensive shoes. So it's fun to just take a look. And I like that they go up to a size 11 because I have big feet and I can find shoes here sometimes. Then it was time to hit up the Easter section. They had lots of fun sprinkles again. They had this cookie making kit, but we're gonna make our own cookies. I did love these little bunny ears that you could put on a cupcake. Love stuff like that. Just quickly, you can make an ordinary cupcake into something really fun. Here are those egg mazing things I was talking about that I bought last year. They have them here at Walmart. Love them. And then it was time to check out. Windy while we were in there. Whew. Whew. I always buy the most random things at Walmart. I don't shop there very often. I always stock up on the toilet paper. Uh, I really wanted to go to Target, but it's about a 15 minute drive away. My kids have an assembly in an hour and 15 minutes. I don't think I would make it back in time for the assembly. So Target shopping is going to have to wait. As the snow starts to melt and things are thawing, humongous potholes start to appear in the roads and you've got to do major defensive driving against the potholes that just want to like swallow your whole tire. And I decided to just go pretty simple with my decorations this year. Just a few touches in this upstairs room. I actually had this whole table's worth of decorations that I ended up donating to a friend so that she could have some Easter cheer in her house as well. Easter's coming! And we don't even have one. Like this one? <gasps> Easter egg? Oh, let's Flower. Butterfly. Yeah. I see a bunny in there. Okay. Everett and I are making our favorite sugar cookies. Is this a rabbit? It does look like a rabbit, yeah. These are the ones 
got so far. I think I saw a tree somewhere. Okay. We have a flower right here. This one's hard to see, but it's a bunny jumping. This is another flower. This is a bunny's head. This is another bunny's head. This is a part that we're going to put in one of these flowers. There's, here's an egg. Here's a flower. Here's a butterfly. And here's a flower. We're, we're, we're going for a, a Easter and spring thing. We measure vanilla with our heart. I think every time I do a baking video, one of my bulk items is out. Today it's the flour. I used everything out of here. <laughs> Had to go get a bag out of the garage. You're crazy to think if it's that it's clean. Triple batch, baby. <laughs> that first part of the pour is always so hard. I always make a mess. Not too bad. Oh, right. Wearing a black shirt probably wasn't the best idea for this flower project. are my geometry towels we got some little bunny bums and some nice spring ones I always like to hang them here for drying your hands on we got plenty of others under here for drying dishes and stuff cleaning up spills Do you want to do a huh. so that's how Hunter did you want to do any cookie dough I'll save you one we have all of these different rolling pins for doing rolling out dough, but when you want everything to be the exact same thickness, I have this really cool rolling pin where each of these different colors is a different thickness for the dough. We want it to be about half an inch, so we have it on the biggest thickness. So when we get close to the right thing, we're using this one to make sure we have a very nice even dough. It's pretty amazing. I'll put a link for it down in the description below. We haven't used it. I know we haven't used it very much, but it's been definitely helpful. <laughs> I think you got a little bit more to do. Mom, Before where, you can use that where are the cookie cutters? They are right behind me. It's a big chunk. Or it's a big bunny with gigantic cheeks. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. You have to be really helpful, though. I know, I'll be helpful. Uh, what is this? Is we it just an oval or an egg? Should I do it? We have the supervisor. We have the supervisor here. Yo! The supervisor it's, is watching from a distance. We have big chongus <laughs> and bug bunny. Making sugar cookies is a project that most of the boys like to get in on. They love helping roll out the dough. They love doing all the cookie cutters. We had a good time making these cookies. And they cook beautifully at 400 degrees for eight minutes. They don't really even look done when you pull them out, but they are the perfect soft sugar cookie. I am not good at decorating cookies, but I do know how to make a good soft cookie. We had to wait till the next day to be able to decorate the cookies. We got out our cute little sprinkles that I had bought on clearance the year before. 
and we got to decorating. The boys each picked out three cookies to decorate for themselves, and then any cookies that we were going to be giving away to people, I did the decorating for those just to make sure that my hands were clean and the kids weren't, um, you know, licking their fingers and messing with cookies that we were going to give away to people. But the boys had a good time decorating and sampling the cookies, and it was a successful activity for all of us. When I was in Arizona, I got these cute little bunny boxes at Home Goods. So this is what I'm going to put the cookies in to deliver to some people. He did some homework, I did and he read two, and he read two books to me this morning. And passed off too. Yep, so we gotta get the next two tomorrow. Yeah, he took a... It's been a few days. Let's keep the Easter shopping going. We are at Target today. I'm gonna look for a few things for the boys. Just browse around. We'll see what Easter things we can find. Spring has sprung at Target. Look how cute this little section is. This is like a little treat tray. How cute is that? This is super well stocked. It looks like they just put all this stuff out. Look at that you little yoga gnome and the frog doing yoga. These are five dollars each. And the cute mushroom. Here's a few Easter things. We got some bunnies, a chicken. Some golden bunnies. Cheese markers, six counts. That's kind of fun. They go on a little ring so you don't lose them. Ooh, and they have some little garden stuff here. Gardening gloves and then a little apron, I think. One gardening gloves and apron, yeah. Garden pruning shears, herb shears, very cute. And cute little egg baskets down there. The Walmart shoes that I got for Hunter did not work out. I had him try them on on Sunday. Um, so I'm gonna look and see if they have any shoes here. Do they have a different men's shoe section? Maybe they do. Ooh, they've got some nice church type clothes over here. So cute. That just looks tiny though for Bennett. It says size 12. Maybe I gotta go up to a 14 for him. You even have some nice jackets. Didn't realize they had jackets. I have to check online and see if they have any more sizes of these. Because they have matching pants. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy the 14s in this color, the 16s, and he can try them on, and then whatever fits, we can order more online. It's a win-win. Glad I found these. The men do have their own little tiny shoe section. Hunter liked the belt I got him. Ooh, I do like these ties. Get Hunter and Bennett some matching ties. Here are the shoe options. This would look nice on Hunter. This would look nice. It is really hard for me to take the older boys shopping anymore between being in school on the weekdays and then adventures on the weekends. I can almost never find a time for them to come shopping with me. So I'm going to buy these in two different sizes. I'm going to let Hunter try them on. And then thankfully Target has a great return policy and we'll bring the ones back that don't fit. And honestly, Bennett might like them too and want one of the pairs. Okay, 
Moving on. The little two boys do not need any sort of clothes. So I may get them a game for their Nintendo Switches. They like to play them sometimes on the weekends. So see if we can grab them something to put in their baskets. I look at these games and I know nothing. But I have asked them for some suggestions. Well, other than some candy, I think I'm done with the shopping for Easter. Oh, so many fun summer things. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I do still want to go look at the, um, the Easter section, just look and see what they have. <laughs> look at all this fun summer stuff. Squirt guns and beach balls. It's getting me excited for warmer weather. Look how cute this little beehive cookie house kit is. Oh, and this little bunny ear house. And look at these smashable egg kits. You put little treats inside and then chocolate on the outside. How fun is that? Super strong icing. Lots of fun things I've never seen before. We are doing Easter this year with Mark's sister and his parents at his sister's house. If you want more like everyday content, make sure you're following us over on Instagram because that's where I post more daily stuff. Some of that stuff would be old news here on YouTube by the time I posted it because I'm not that fast at getting things out. So I will not be putting a video out about our Easter here on YouTube. I'm doing this shopping trip several weeks before Easter so that I can share it with you around Easter time if that all makes sense. But if you want more real-time footage, follow us on Instagram. I post in stories all the time. That's where you're gonna see what's really going on in real time with us. Look how cute these spring chick cupcakes are. So cute. This is fun. Edible grass. <gasps> that is really fun. $2.99. Some bunny bait. This favorite day brand sure makes cute stuff. Cute packaging. Caramel bunny kisses. Spring shimmer trail mix. Last but not least, spring clover trail mix. That looks cool. Didn't see this one. Berry lemon trail mix. Oh, they've got little bunny dates. Ooh, this is fun. Who will find the golden egg hunt? Everett is always talking about hiding a golden egg and seeing who will find it. $7.99 though, for only 12 eggs? That is way overpriced. I'll just spray paint an egg gold for that price. We've got a whole Reese's section. Reese's eggs, Reese's bunnies, Reese's pieces, gigantic Reese's bunnies. Reese's gets its own section. Oh, white eggs? There you go. Uh, this is so cute. A little ducky. Ooh, they have a whole summer section starting to come out. No time to film this section while we're here today, though. But I do need a pot. Ooh, I like this white one. $12. My sweet friend got me a shamrock plant for my birthday, so I do need a pot for it. We're not going to spend much time in this section because we got to keep moving today. This one. Okay, I am going to pick up this planter for my shamrock plant. I'm going to buy my candy at Costco. It just seems like a better deal to get a big bag and fill a ton of eggs because the kids just love to find more eggs. So we're going to go for more bang for our buck. Well, I feel like that was a very successful trip to Target. Got some clothes, got some shoes, got some gifts. Saw some cute things for Easter. I'm I'm happy with that trip. Ugh. Let's do some Easter baskets. First up, I had Bennett try on the different pairs of pants. He's in a size 16. When did my babies get so big? But the 16 pants fit really well. The 14 ones were like high waters on him. Couldn't even button them up. So 16s and this size 16 coat fit him really nicely too. So he will be ready for church on Easter Sunday, but more importantly, every Sunday after that, he can wear this. And we may even get it for him in black if he really likes it. Oh, the inspector is coming. Just come check out the Easter baskets. Hello, Luna. Can you say hello? How are you? 
I thought you were gonna be napping, but you gotta come check out the Easter baskets, of course. Okay. So, each boy gets a box of fun cereal. I don't buy fun cereals often, so that's a nice little treat. This one's Oreo O's. Next up, we have a Walmart drink. This one is in pineapple coconut. Pop-Tarts is another thing that I never buy. This is a strawberry Pop-Tart. So I'm going to put one strawberry Pop-Tart in this Easter basket, as well as one cinnamon and sugar Pop-Tart, cinnamon and brown sugar. Then I got a Wii game for each of the boys in their baskets. We have Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, Just Dance 2023, Pokemon Scarlet, and Pokemon Violet. So I'm gonna stick a Pokemon one in here. I'm thinking this one's for Everett. I'm gonna put in some cheddar cheese Pringles. And I think that's it. There's a little fun Easter basket for Mr. Everett. Do another one. We'll give him some fruity pebbles. A black cherry drink. Pop tarts. Sea salt and vinegar Pringles. And I'm gonna give him the other Pokemon game. These baskets are kind of worthless, but it works. The older boys got a little bit more stuff, but it was just because they needed some stuff. The younger boys did not need any new church clothes. I already had Hunter try on these pants. He loved them. We're gonna keep a pair of tan and a pair of blue. Probably take the other ones back. He doesn't need four new pairs of pants, but I just wanted him to be able to choose. I also got him a new white sleeve shirt, short sleeve, and a fun tie. Strawberry drink. Some spicy scorching Pringles for him. Pop-Tarts. And a box of Honey O's, which I have not seen since I was a kid. I loved these things when I was a kid. He's also getting a new pair of church shoes, but I'm just gonna set those next to the basket. I think these are just gonna go in Weston and Everett's because they're the ones with the switches. The other boys have too much stuff. Okay. Turned out nice. Last but not least, we have Bennett. Honeycomb. These were all on sale. There was a digital coupon, so they were each like $2.50, which seemed like a pretty good deal for a box of cereal. You might be thinking I'm missing a few things like Hunter's new belt. He really needed new stuff, so I gave him his new belt and his new pants on Sunday. He needed them sooner rather than later. He's getting some scorching sour cream and onion, blue raspberry. The last thing going in Bennett's basket is a thousand popsicle sticks. He has become obsessed with making popsicles for the family and runs out of sticks. So I got him a box of sticks. Also be draping his jacket over the basket. So there we have it. Easter baskets for the boys. Last up, I needed to boil some eggs, and my favorite way to do boiled eggs is in the Instant Pot. I love using this little mesh basket. Put a little bit of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot, and then you put them on high pressure for three minutes. Then when they are done, let them self-release for 13 minutes, and then get them into some cold water. I put them in this giant bowl, put the cold water on them, and even added some ice just to make sure they cooled off. And they peel beautifully when you do it this way. Once the eggs have cooled off, I set them on a dish towel to dry. I want them to get nice and dry before we decorate them with our egg amazing thing that I showed you earlier in the video. I couldn't end an Easter video without showing you the awesome process of decorating these eggs. 
Bennett wanted to help me decorate eggs. It is as simple as putting them on the spinning thing and then touching the marker down to them and it is just so mesmerizing. You can make different color combinations, it can be messy, it can be really thought out. They just all end up so cool and it's mesmerizing. I just love it. Well, that was really fun. Thank you for getting ready for Easter with me. We hope that you each have a wonderful Easter and we are grateful to get to celebrate the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, this Easter. We are praying for those of you that are going through hard times. We know some of you are struggling with tornadoes and really bad weather in the South. Just know that we're thinking about you. We hope you guys have a wonderful Easter and a, and a wonderful spring season. Thank you so much for watching. We are grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with us, and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. Bennett and I can't stop making eggs. We're gonna have to boil more for the other kids. <laughs> We got the inspector behind us trying to watch what's going on. What's all that weird noise, huh, Luna?